Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlamont.com and I'm back with another Power BI tutorial video and in this video we will learn how to create our first data source using a flat file. For this video we are going to refer to this blog post. Blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. In this video we will learn how to create a data source or how to get data from a flat file or CSV file. To create our first data source connection or to get the data from CSV file, we are going to we are going to use cartoon character sample txt file. You can download the same file from this article. Click on this download URL to download the CSV file. Next, we are going to use this sample CSV file in Power BI. For this, let me quickly open Power BI. For personal, group or online training, contact us. So this is my Power BI desktop and this is our start screen or start dialog. To create a new data source or to get the data, click on this or if start screen is not available, you can, you can click on this drop down to select your appropriate uh, data source. If your data source is not listed here, you can click on more or you can directly click on this. This is get data dialog and in this we have and this is the list of all supported data source. Out of this we need to find text CSV. So text CSV is the second option in this list. If you are not able to find your data source then you can use this different different categories. For text.csv it comes under file so I am going to select file and again this is our option to create a text CSV connection. Again, you are not able to find your data source, then you can use the search box. So let me quickly search for CSV, text CSV. Let me select this and then we are going to click on connect. In open dialog box, we need to first open the location for our text or CSV file and then we need to select our text.csv file. So I'm going to select cartoon character .txt and finally we are going to click on open connecting and this is cartoon characters .txt. If Power BI is not able to understand or Power BI is not able to identify the correct file delimiter or column delimiter, you can manually select the correct column delimiter. For our cartoon characters .txt file, Power BI is able to identify the correct delimiter. In our cartoon character.txt file we are using temp delimiter. We also have option to provide custom delimiter. Okay, so let's say it is a CSV file, all the columns are separated by a comma, I can provide the comma. Okay, and with comma this is the column. Of course, this is wrong for this file because in this file all the columns are separated with tab delimiter. Apart from this we also have fixed width. For example your columns are separated with the fixed width then you can use this option. So let me quickly change it back to tab because in our cartoon characters.txt file all the columns are separated with tab. The next option is data type detection. The first option is based on first 200 rows. When you are going to select this option, Power BI will scan only top 200 rows to identify the data type for each column. The second option is based on entire data set. You can either select based on first 200 rows or you can select based on entire data set. In case of based on first 200 rows, if we are going to compare the performance between first and second option, definitely performance is good in case of first option. And in case of second option, you can say second option is more accurate. If you are using a very large file, then Power BI will take some time to scan all the rows and to identify the correct data type for each column. The third option is do not detect the data types. In this, we need to manually identify the data type for each column. The first option is quick. The second option is accurate. Both first and second option will reduce our work. In the third option, the manual task is going to increase. 
so let me select first option because in our cartoon character.txt file we only have 15 rows next in the bottom we have three buttons load edit and cancel cancel button is to close this dialog you can also close this dialog using this cross the edit button is going to give you more options to edit your data we are going to cover we are going to learn more about edit later in this video for the time being click on load when you are going to click on load power bi is going to process your data and then it is going to load in power bi it is going to load for reporting so our data is loading and our data is loaded successfully based on our file we have a single table cartoon characters and in cartoon characters we have following columns first name last name id gender date of birth and create by now i want to create a visualization for creating our first visualization we are going to select first name and last name so our first visual element is created successfully this is a list we are going to learn more about visualizations in our upcoming videos now let me quickly create a copy for this visual element for this i am going to press ctrl c to copy this element and then i am going to perform a paste using ctrl v and this is our second visual element and let me quickly arrange this two element Previously, for creating this first element, we only selected the required column. Now, let's say I want to add one more column. We have two visual elements. If you are going to again select any checkbox, it is going to create a new visual element. I don't want this. I want to add a new column in our first list. To add the new column in our first list, let me first perform undo because I don't want this third element. Now I want to add a new column in our first list. To add the new column, we are going to select our first list and then we are going to select gender. Okay. The alternative method is you can use this value section. Select your column which you want to add. Let's say date of birth. Uncheck it. If you want to add this date of birth, drag and drop your date of birth just here. Okay, so let's say I want to add date of birth after last name. So I'm going to move my date of birth column and then I'm to release my left mouse cursor. Our date of birth column is added successfully. I don't want to select my visual element. I want to add my new column directly without selecting the visual element. For this, let's say I want to add gender here. I'm going to select this gender column. I'm going to select this gender column left click drag your mouse and move your mouse over the second list release your mouse your gender column is added successfully at the time of get data we used the load button now let's see what is the difference between the load and edit for this i'm going to open a new power bi window and let me close this one it is no longer required no i don't want to save it so our new instance for Power BI desktop is open successfully. First time when we created a new data source or when we used get data, we clicked on get data. Now this time we are going to select recent resource. Okay. So I'm going to click on this recent source. And this is our previously used cartoon character .txt file. If you want to pin this, feel free to pin. Let me unpin this one and now I'm going to select cartoon characters.txt. Finally, I'm going to click on connect. Now this time I don't want to load this data. I want to first process it. I want to modify a few things in this data. For this, we are going to click on edit. If you are going to click on edit, it will open Power Query Editor. Using Power Query Editor, you can perform different types of transformation on your data. For this video, we are going to perform a very simple transformation. We are going to find the full name for our cartoon character. To find out the full name for our cartoon character, we are going to add a new column. To add a new column, we are going to click on add column and then we are going to select custom column. In custom column dialog box, we need to provide our new column name. So I'm going to type full name and then we need to provide the formula to calculate the data for this column. 
In this, I want to perform a concatenation between first name and last name. By using first name and last name, we will get our full name. To perform a concatenation between first name and last name, we are going to use text dot combine function. Okay, so this is a Power Query Editor function and we are going to learn more about Power Query Editor functions in our upcoming videos. For the time being, you can simply open my blog post and you can copy the code from the blog post. So code is available just here. Okay, so let me quickly type this. I'm going to type combine and then we are going to open bracket and in this we need to provide the columns which we need to combine so first name and then we need to combine last name and then we are going to provide the combine operator and then we need to provide the separator okay either you can provide a blank value or you can use a space or you can use a comma for this scenario first name and last name we are going to use space okay once you are done with your formula click on ok our new column is added successfully if you want to edit this you can click on this gauge icon it will open your custom column editor one more time and then you can change let's say i want to replace space with comma i'm going to replace space with comma and then finally i have to click on ok our full name is now changed our formula for full name is changed you can also find this formula inside formula bar it is not visible yet so let me click on view and then you can select formula bar okay so this is the formula to calculate this column each text dot combine and then our first name comma last name and our column separate and finally in the end text separator so again we are going to learn more about all this in our upcoming videos for this video let me let me hide the formula bar and then i'm going to click on home and i'm going to apply this change i want to save these changes and i want to close the editor for this we are going to click on close and apply it will close the power query editor and it's, it is going to apply all the changes so applying query changes cartoon characters loading data to model loading data to model so again our first table is created successfully cartoon characters with uh, created by date of birth first name gender id and last name and this time full name is the new column the rest of the process is same let's say if you want to use full name add the full name and let's say i want to use gender okay so this is how you can create a new data source using a flat file or this is how you can edit your data we are going to learn more about we are going to learn more about joins and different types of transformation in our upcoming videos in our next video we will learn how to use an excel file to get data we are also going to learn how to create relationship or we are going to learn about different types of join in power bi so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on like subscribe share it with everyone provide your feedback and see you all in next power bi tutorial video some important urls